shake it like a bowl of my big chance. Oh, oh no. Just stop. Oh, that's up. Hello everyone, Jose Villablanca here. And today I'm gonna show you guys how I make my chia pudding. And we're gonna put it right in here. It's simple, healthy, fast, you name it. Insert other synonym here. I'll show you how easy it really is and why it's my go-to meal, one of my go-to snacks. All right, a few recipes that I have here. So it's just basically cacao powder, soy milk, or any other type of milk that you want to use. We've got some, obviously, chia seeds for the chia pudding, and a little small bag of protein. And that's pretty much it, but you could actually add like sea salt to taste, maple syrup, um, even cinnamon. So it really depends on what little flavors you want to add there as well. All right, first ingredient, a new bag of cacao powder. Actually, I love cacao nibs, so basically this is like um, a powdered form of cacao nibs, which is really just chocolate. So the first ingredient would be that. You want it chocolatey because if you see any clumps, you basically just break it down. All right, next is the soy. Soy milk, <laughs> those are hard to remember. All right, just put it up there. Now the thing with the soy milk is, which I just forgot, seeing very raw, very real. Shake it, because uh, the residue stays at the bottom. Shake it like a bowl of raw bitch. Uh. You can see, it's a lot. And one thing you'll notice too is I like to eyeball my recipes, my ingredients. I just, whatever. I live on the wild side. Next, chia seeds. So obviously you have to really mix up well and you don't have to put too much chia seeds because it's gonna, um, they call it bloom. So it's gonna take up more space. Make sure you really go counterclockwise. Do not stir it the other way. If you, if you do, then it's gonna explode. All right, got that really, really mixed one. And the last ingredient is whey protein. For the gains, brah. As you can see, it's very thick, so let's add some more. And that's it, that's it. Oh, oh no. Mm. Yeah, good way to taste this. And another thing you can do too is you can add a pinch of sea salt. And that's it. All you have to do now is leave this in the uh, fridge overnight or for a few hours. That will, that will allow the chia seeds to bloom and it'll feel like it's a uh, pudding. kind of dirty in there, so <laughs> let's leave it at that. It's a man cave.